everyone. Saskia here from Los Angeles Skinny Peak Rescue. We are tired, man. Oh my goodness. All day we've been sorting piggies, doing health checks, and um, you know, figuring out who goes where. We have like the main area, then we have an area for the piggies that are not doing so good, that are not feeling very strong, so we don't want to put them in the main area. Um, I apologize for the noise because there's choppers in the air. <laughs> There's always something. Um, so I apologize for that if you can hear it, but I'll try and speak louder. Um, we set up like our own little workstation right here in the barn, which this is a first. We haven't done that. And it's probably going to stay here for a bit because we have a lot of work here. And there's a lot of work here to do here. So let me uh, switch over and show you. And it looks like a total mess because we have been working like this for all the day. And everything is everywhere. And this is hi there. How are you doing? Hey, okay, sweetheart. Is this a girl? Yeah. So you're doing the girls. So yeah, Julia's been, been working, working, working with the girls, and me, Ursula, and Catherine. We've been working with the females. The boys. Uh, the boys. I mean. Oh, that's just horrible. That sound. I apologize. So I want to just, just walk through and show you what we have and, and what we've got so far and how far we've come and just show you a few of the pigs, okay? So a little update. But yeah, there's a, a lot, a lot of work still left. This is just the beginning. And there are so many sick ones that have, that need attention. Um, I mean, it's, it's overwhelming. It really is. It's absolutely overwhelming. In fact, I was thinking we need to hire another person um, because there is so much work involved with these guys. And I don't know, that's going to cost money, of course. And I, I don't know where we're going to get it from. But I guess, you know, everything always works out in the end. But um, okay, let's uh, let me show you guys. So here is the main. This is where we started yesterday, right? This is uh, all the main ones. And, and it is divided right now. And that is because these are the ones that we managed to health check today and these are the guys that we haven't health checked yet and then there are my guys so out of these these are deemed to be the strongest healthiest pigs um, and then even though we see some, you know, blind eyes and stuff and, you know, and then these guys, we still got to go through, but we already did one sort already when everyone, oops, when everyone was on here, we already sorted out um, who was the most or in the worst state. And those were already moved over to another stall there last night. So we know that these are kind of like the stronger ones either way, but we're still, you know, we're gonna pull, we're gonna check, we're gonna find stuff. I was able to take three piggies, which is amazing, from the ICU, from like the, you know, the emergency medical ward, which we set up here on the side. Uh, I managed to take them out and they were actually much improved. So that's amazing news. Very happy about that. Um, so yeah, we're still sorting, going through and, and, and it's overwhelming it really is because the work is just unbelievable um, and I was thinking maybe we can go and open up on a Sunday for adoptions or um, more days or evenings and like man I, I don't know because Sundays is like I don't get any time off as it is so that is that's just really gonna kill me so you know I think we need more people to help out is I think you know we need more people that can do adoptions independently that would really help actually but um, okay let's let's go and do little close-ups hi children dinner times almost now we found that we just keep them busy eating 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 and lots of greens we just overfeed, <laughs> overfeed them they're not getting into trouble so much, which is awesome. Yeah, they're not feeling like they need to go fight. So it's been a lot quieter since uh, we're just feeding and feeding them. So they've actually ate whatever we put out, which as you can see, they're still working on the hay. And there is still some chasing. 
and that's gonna be unavoidable we're just you know well this their area is gonna be much bigger when we're done with it actually but um, done sorting okay let's start here this little guy here hi sweetheart I named him Batavia but I might change his name he is uh, pretty much blind and he has terrible teeth I opened his mouth and his molar, you know, he, he needed a little molar snip, which I was able to do. The piece that came out, I literally could crush with my fingers. It was that brittle. And that's his mouth. So, but I, I soaked some um, special little pellets and they were all nice and soft. And after that little trim, he ate not one, two balls of it. I couldn't believe it. Hi, sweet. You know, we're talking about you. Yeah, I love you. And this guy, too. I love you, too. You're very sweet. You're a very sweet little guy. So these two, you know, they're so sick. They don't mind being together for now. And they're small. Um, so we make notes for now. These are just little notes. Um, Tommaso, this little guy, he has a very terrible wound on the side of his arm that actually makes his whole front leg lame. I mean, it's just like there is no uh, muscle control there whatsoever. So, uh, and he's very skittish, but um, that's, that's an interesting what's going on, what's happening with him. This is Bartholomew, Bartholomew. He's very skinny as well. So we also didn't want to put the super skinny guys. So he's puffed up, so you can't really tell. But no, he's he is bones, skin and bones, um, because they they just they become so vulnerable, unfortunately. This is Banksy. Hi, Banksy. Hi. And a lot, a lot of blind ones, just blind and infected eyes. So he has a horribly infected eye and both sides. And you know, that's what happens. They they just kind of prey on the weak. Not prey on the weak, but I mean, that's just nature. If there's a weak one, they're gonna go and... They're gonna go for it. So, I called this guy Bestie. He's my little Bestie, he's so sweet. But he's very skinny and he has lots of bite wounds in the back and his eye is all messed up. Like, terribly messed up, both of them. So this one wasn't named yet, but he's got something on his scrotum that almost resembles um, skin cancer. So we're gonna have the vet look at him as well. And then, hi, sweetheart. Hello. Hi. Where's your notes? I don't have notes on you. How do I not have notes on you? Hey. Very pretty guy. So I don't have his notes and I don't remember, but he's in here for a reason. Yeah, you're very pretty lad. Super pretty. And he also doesn't have notes, so I gotta talk to Julia because she was my scribe today. I think, oh, okay, I think uh, Catherine put him in there. He's got like a little thing on the nose that we might have thought could be ringworm. We want to isolate that ASAP. And again, no note, but he has a name. I think uh, Julia's late in putting up the notes. But, um, and so I can't remember what's wrong with him, but there's something wrong with him that prevents him from being in general population right now um, he has a receded eye arthritis on both back legs whether his arthritis is from his legs being broken or not because we're seeing a lot of that a lot of pigs with both back legs broken and that set themselves that it that set but set incorrectly hi everyone 
this is Alonzo. He is actually a bit of a head tilt. Terribly infected eye, as you can see. And so that's why he's here retreating him for his eyes. And he's not deaf, because we did try the deafness test. Now this is Yoshi, who's a very old man who has, I think he's blind because he doesn't have much of an eye. This eye is all very much cataract um, and he has teeth issues. So we keep an eye on that. There's Murphy, his eyes are awful, awful, awful. It looks much better now because I have treated them. If I can get a little bit closer to show you. No, nope, doesn't want to. Sorry. Uh, and he is completely blind. Both his eyes are, are bad. This is an MT. And then this here is Fanta. He's about three years old. Both his back legs were broken and he is missing one eye and he has one, oops, severely infected eye. It will be the missing one. And then the other side will be the... Hi, hi, sweetie. So, there, that's what we're dealing with. I'm missing some of the name parts on some of these guys, Jules. Maybe uh, you have them. Some of the ones that, that they put in. That you what? That a cat and verse put in. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, so I that will makes do, sense. I will make names right, for them. Right, right. pigs. Hi, booty. Hi, booty. Is you booty? Oh, Are you my little doggy? Did you come say hi to all the guinea pigs? Yeah. You need a bath desperately. You're like a dirty, dirty ranchy dog. Yeah, this is my little dog. This might live my little dog, my little stray. He was a street dog. Yes, you good boy. He's come to say hi to mommy. So girls, these are our existing girls actually. These are the ones that already were here. So these are all healthy. Nothing wrong with them. There's Masha there in the middle. We love Masha. So, that's our pregnancy watch cages. And here are other boys. Now, this is the first, when we went through all of them on the main floor, this is the bunch that we picked out as being vulnerable. This is our vulnerable population. So there's something kind of wrong with all of them, which makes us not want to put them in with the stronger boys because they get bullied and they get... Look at all of you sitting in the, in the ball there. That is hysterical. That is really funny. Why are you doing that? <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my goodness. Um, and then we have gone through some of these already and then came up with this bunch here. Now these are all um, already looked at, so they're good here, meaning they are vulnerable. So they stay here, um, but they're not bad enough to have to be in the ICU and have to be, you know, getting medication, etc. So we're still sorting through this bunch here. And, um, you know, we're still gonna find some, some sick pigs. But the ones that are obviously super, super sick, we have picked those out already and have dealt with that. Oh, hi there, hey. Hi, sweetheart. Do you even know I'm here? Oh, you do? Oh, hello, you're very friendly. Chatting in your teeth at me. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. No, it wasn't me. So yeah, it's a lot quieter here in this cage than we saw in the other one. Because this is our vulnerable population. 
price, sweetie pie. So, they're not likely to fight because they're not feeling good. I got went to get some carrot so we can see him a little closer up. So Oh, don't be scared. Don't run. All the girlies. Hi, sweeties. Did you get snacks? Well, it's not main dinner. So These have also all been divided into possibly pregnant health checked and not checked yet but you can see the difference the astonishing difference between you know their overall health the way they look these are much better off than the males much much better off than the males they all look you know decent boys will be boys hey troublemakers all of them but uh, yeah, there'll be babies soon. <laughs> I estimate, I don't know, maybe 40% of these females are pregnant. So, it looks, there's 74 in here. It doesn't look like 74, but there's 74 females here on the floor. 100%, because I know we counted them. Okay, girlsies. Okay, we're following the lettuce.
name? Hello. There's nothing in the fridge, man. No, there isn't. I bet they're hungry. Did you go shopping? Maybe. <laughs> and we have two cases of tomatoes. Ooh. How many game pigs did we pick up? Yeah, and a bunch. 250? That was a bunch. I don't think yeah. that's going to do right, we got, it. Yeah, I got six apples left. Okay, well, oh, seven apples were covered. <laughs> So, all right, let's see what we got. Seven heads of lettuce left. These guys eat a lot, don't they? And got about ten carrots. That'll do. Oh, well, we got a few apples. All right. Yeah, box of apples. Yay! We'll so that'll up. that'll tie us over till tomorrow. Maybe make it to the breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's funny. All right, so what we did, we went to the store. Okay, look at this, guys. Carrots. This is parsley. How often do we do this a week? And well, we do it normally once a week. But but now we're getting to probably about fifty percent more. And. Uh, we're probably gonna have to do it twice a week. So well, the thing is that we decided that the newbies are all going to males are going to get greens twice a day. Yeah, so it'll to be get them up the it's, it'll probably be about three times as much as we normally get. That's so, romaine lettuce. We got some bell romaine. peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes. Oh my goodness! So parsley. and that's a lot. This is like layers here. Some parsley, but uh. Yep, this and, is uh, what the shopping is like. Corn, we got celery. We go to the restaurant to. supply store so that we get a good discount. So we don't pay regular prices. It makes our dollar go further. Buy them by the case as well. But if you have, if you're local and you, you can, you know, come by and you want to donate greens, oh my gosh, please do. Because you see, we are like. Parsley, cucumbers, bell peppers. Are all great. Uh, leafy greens are just green fabulous. leafy stuff is awesome. Pep green peppers, red peppers, all these peppers are good. And um, yeah, this is we're now probably going to be doing this twice a week more, the same amount. So three times a week, we're going to have to go buy all this to you know to feed all these guys. So if uh, we need help, we need help. If you can donate, please, please, please do, because this is going to be an ongoing thing. We're going to have these animals for a long time. They're not going to be here just for a couple of weeks. They are, most of these males are long-term special needs animals that we'll be caring for. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And, and I'm so grateful for any support you guys can give us, really. And you do. We have an awesome community. I'm... I'm I'm, I'm very proud and humbled. Um, We're going to yeah. throw this all in the fridge and we'll let you see how that looks. All right. Thank you for your support.